this is how to get started using non-invasive ventilation on the ServoAir ventilator. Plug in the power cord, connect the oxygen hose, and switch on the ventilator here by pulling down and moving over. Begin the pre-use check. Follow the on-screen instructions and remember to use the test tube during this check. The pre-use check takes a few minutes. When doing the patient circuit test, remember that all accessories should be attached to the circuit, including water in the chamber when using active humidification. Choose the correct patient interface and inform and prepare your patient. Then choose ventilation type non-invasive. Tap the ventilation modes and choose the mode you wish to use for your patient. Here we will choose pressure support, which also includes CPAP capability. An awaiting position dialog is seen on the screen. This will give you time to connect the mask to the patient without ventilation beginning. The ventilator will start automatically when it detects patient breathing. The pressure supported breaths are triggered by the patient. The patient controls the respiratory rate and the ventilator delivers support using the preset pressure support above PEEP or the delta pressure. Start with low PEEP and low pressure support levels above PEEP, giving the patient time to adapt and adjust accordingly. The trigger sensitivity is automatically adjusted and compensated for the leak. Trigger criteria are based on flow or pressure. The white indication on the flow or pressure waveforms show how the breaths are triggered. The leak percentage is shown on the screen. It is an average over the last 30 seconds. Tap on the ventilation mode to open the settings window. Some of the settings have contextual help and illustrations to show how the breath will change when the setting is altered. The inspiratory rise time setting determines the amount of time it will take to reach the set pressure. Adjusting this value will allow for better synchrony and patient comfort. The termination of inspiration is determined by the end inspiration setting. This represents the percentage of end inspiratory flow compared to the peak flow. The higher the end inspiration, the shorter the inspiratory phase. To silence alarms, tap the bell. The alarms are then silenced for two minutes. By tapping on the active alarm value, you access a shortcut to that alarm setting. Certain alarms can be permanently silenced by touching the bell, which will silence the audible alarm only. By using the direct access, the settings can be quickly changed, progressively increase the PEEP and the pressure support in small steps, giving the patient time to adapt. To stop non-invasive ventilation, remove the patient interface. Tap the standby tile in the upper left-hand corner on the screen. Then tap and hold stop ventilation to go into standby. For more training material, go to our website at gettinga.com.